We're making a cascading dish using ingredients from the prior recipe, the Rock Street Burger. This time as a baked potato. You could call it leftovers, but I'll call it a cascading dish. Using our lentil and black bean patty from our Rock Street Burger, as well as some other ingredients. Join me, Steve Bryce, as I guide you through what I learned, tips, techniques, tricks, as well as mistakes over the years as I explored plant-based eating in my transition from being a meat eater, working in the meat industry, to becoming a vegan chef and running two restaurants. Full disclosure, I tried a dish in between. I was gonna use it over pasta, I had some arugula, a lot of greens turn bitter in the high heat, and arugula is no exception. So I harvested the last of the arugula. It had bolted, gone to seed, but I thought, well, I'll strip some of the leaves off and just see what I can make. So I made a pesto out of the arugula, and I had tasted some of the leaves just as a test, and they didn't seem that bitter, but when I put it together, it was bitter. It just wasn't good. Remember I said I would tell you about the mistakes, as well as tips and tricks. So I decided to change and make a baked potato and use that as the platform. To make the roasted sweet peppers and onions, we'll take the peppers and just cut into thin strips. And then we'll roughly cut those into thirds or whatever size seems somewhat bite-sized. And then we'll place those in the bowl. Use a little bit of olive oil spritzed on, maybe a tablespoon or two and then about a teaspoon of salt. The salt helps pull some of the moisture out as the onions and sweet peppers are roasting. On the onions, just cut the onion in half, take out the root section, cut into maybe thirds, and then slice into thin sections. And then we'll just use our hands to toss and mix, kind of breaking up the sections of onion as we do that. And then we'll place that in a sheet pan and roast that in an oven, stirring a couple of times, but maybe 40, 45 minutes. Today we're gonna to microwave the potatoes just to give them a jump start for maybe five minutes on high. While we're waiting on that, we can cut this thin piece out of the tomato, and then just cut the tomato in broad slices. And then we can arrange the broad slices and just cut into a big dice. Anything will work. This is not really done to make anything pretty. It's more for color as well as the, the fresh coolness of that tomato on top of our dish. Nutrition too. Tomatoes are good. Next, we'll take our scallions. And, I mean, some people will separate the white section from the green section on the scallions and use it for different purposes. But we'll put it all together. I really don't have a use for the white section, so we'll just mix it all together. So after the potatoes have been microwaved for about five minutes, they're, they're basically done but we're just gonna crisp them in the air fryer for another 12 minutes or so, 15 minutes, whatever. So partway through, after 15, 20 minutes, we can stir the onion pepper mixture just to kind of help it roast evenly and also release some of the moisture that's been trapped by the pile. Now in a pan over the burner, we can kind of break up those patties that we had leftover from the other day into a saute pan. I put a little bit of oil into the saute pan just to help crisp it a little bit. And we'll just stir that around as it crisps a little bit. Once again, we'll stir our onions and peppers. You can see they've started to release some of their juices. We want some of that juice to evaporate, create kind of a sweet sauce that we can have on top of the our baked potato creation. At 
the idea isn't so much to actually brown because patty's already cooked. We just want to basically warm it up and crisp it a little bit. So now we're done in the air fryer with our potatoes. So we'll put the potatoes in our serving bowl. Kind of split those and open the potato up. And yes, they're, as you would expect, really hot. Just kind of open that potato. It creates kind of a, as well as breaking up the potato, creates a bigger area to receive our toppings. So we'll spread some of our crisp patty crumbles on top of the potato. Then we'll add some of our onion and pepper mixture. It's got some of those nice sweet juices. And then we'll add our ranch dressing. We can put quite a bit of it on. There's really no oil in this recipe of this dressing, so it's mostly tofu, water, a little bit of cashews. Then we'll just sprinkle some smoked paprika on, kind of for color, but also flavor too, a little bit of smokiness in there. And then the tomatoes on top for a little bit of fresh coolness, a little bit of texture on top. And then we'll finish with the scallions. A little pop of color, a little bit of a crunch on top, and then that nice onion flavor. And then we've got our dish, a cascading dish, and on a different platform. It's all good. Enjoy. So as you enjoy the last bit of your meal, don't forget to move in nature or practice flowing in on your mat whenever you want to find flow and ease in your life.